A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel the Twin Flame Union. In today's channeling session I would be talking about DM and DF who are meeting each other in person after a very long wait actually. And on the way they also get late or they get stuck. So it's like a classic case of uh, you know like there is a movie called Serendipity. I don't know how many of you've seen it but it's kind of annoying actually to me because a lot of things happen between the protagonist the guy and the girl and then finally they meet each other somehow as if it was just destined and you know they always skip meeting each other but this is not really like that serendipity but you can say the day is almost like that now I don't want you to imagine serendipity at all right now even though I gave this example okay now these two people have been talking to each other for a long time that's what it is and during those days of talking to each other only they have not met each other in person but during the time they're talking to each other they fall in love with each other and they have many phases of runner chaser dynamic now this is one of the uh twin flame dynamics that happens where two people don't meet each other they are in a long distance setup or even if they are nearby but they don't meet each other for whatever their reasons are maybe they are testing each other a lot or they are you know finding if this is the right person or not but even though they don't meet each other they have a lot of communication they are constantly messaging each other they're talking to each other they've blocked each other also few times and then they've unblocked each other they've gone away from each other then they come back to each other you know they want to run away from this person but then they do, don't happen to do so and in some cases this runner chaser dynamic has been a long time also it is quite possible that they met like 2 3 years back online or somewhere maybe the you can say the initial meeting was like a brush also like they just met each other 5 10 minutes saw each other and that's it maybe exchange number and then never met or they saw each other somewhere and then somehow they got connected to each other and then they continued talking to each other or the regular thing that they saw each other on some social media app instagram or facebook they got connected and then they never stopped talking after that so whatever the case is and this is not a kinky thing uh, that happens between them i'm talking about a genuine twin flame couple who are exploring themselves and they are looking for only true love they don't want to settle down for something which is not real both of them are like that they've both probably been into their own share of difficult relationships toxic relationships bad experiences in love so now they don't want to waste their time and energy uh both of them are doing some kind of active inner work the spiritual twin is doing active inner work and the matrix twin is also doing active inner work without knowing and then when they meet each other they actually meet each other during a cross road in their life you know where they can either go this way or that way and that's when they meet each other so they feel a very deep connection they feel a very strong pull but at the same time there's a strong push also and both of them experience it you know and as i said they have already gone through those cycles of separation which means if they're not uh, they've not met physically uh, in last 2 3 years they at least went into separation for a long period of time you can say one year of separation or uh, you must be thinking in 2 3 years how can they have one year of separation maybe 7 months or 8 months of very long separation so that's why i said it has to be a long term affair maybe 2 3 years of say after before going into long separation and then one and a half one year two years of long separation also you can say and then coming back again now i am not guided to give you the exact years or time because it could be different for different people but i am guided to tell you guys that they did go through their uh, time of uh, running and chasing finally they can't do this anymore they have to meet each other 
they feel that they are each other's true love and they belong to each other and this and that you know and then they decide that okay enough of everything that we've done i really want to see you in person like both of them want to see each other in person and they have a very strong they feel a very strong pull towards each other okay now finally after and this also doesn't happen immediately yes so it's a little bit annoying so they decide a day to meet and then one person cancels and then other days just decided then other person cancels then third time they decide that we'll meet each other over here and then they both say that uh, you know like literally together mutually that i can't make to this and there is a certain amount of frustration also and there is a lot of curiosity and even though they share pictures and they talk to each other on the phone and they make video calls all of that is happening you know it's not like it's not but despite that they have not met each other and now they are on that day when they are meeting each other in physical and it's very humorous also because you know one of them gets late or very stuck i think it's the spiritual twin now all sorts of things happen that day the flight would get delay if they are coming from another you know it's another city so they are in two different states and they decide to meet somewhere in the middle because they want to make it you know easy for both of them so something will happen to the airplane the weather will go bad or if that's not the case then if they are coming in a car the car will break down midway you know and uh, there will be some weird problem or you know one of them gets hurt and now they f- they are very scared that if i cancel today the other person is going to feel very bad so they they talk about it to each other like i'm stuck over here and with mutual consent and decision they decide to wait for each other because waiting is happening on both sides right if the person some what someone is sitting in a cafe and waiting they are waiting but the one who's on the road one who's stuck that person is also equally waiting so they decide and uh one of them also gets very stubborn about it like you know i am going to stay here i am going to wait even if it needs if it needed i'm going to wait for 8 hours 9 hours whatever but i'm not leaving from here until i see you in person today i have to see you in person because i'm sick and tired of this and then they do realize that there is some universal game is going on some maybe dark energies the spiritual twin thinks about it that maybe the dark energies are stopping me maybe something is stopping me i do want to meet this person so badly but something is stopping me and i need to overcome it too so now they finally they are very close to each other okay it's like maybe they are 20 minutes or 25 minutes away from each other and they are both feeling intense emotions like intense to the core they cannot keep up to their excitement they are excited they are nervous they are scared they are curious they are in love there are expectations then there are no expectations like they are feeling 100 emotions at the same time and it's in, in you know it's insane because it happens in they are thinking it happens in some really romantic movie or story you know this can't be real but it it is real and then they realize that in movies this can never happen because what we are feeling is just out of the world we are making a wrong comparison because they waited for so long just to see each other despite knowing how they look in real life it's not like they've catfished each other or they've you know use some other picture or something they know each other very well they fought with each other like so many times they've gone away from each other they've blocked each other they've not t- talked for such a long time and then again they keep coming back to each other so there's something about it and then you know this moment comes when they are in front of each other physically finally and it's a most beautiful surreal moment for them technically i don't make this type of channeling because uh, i don't want people to get very 3d oriented but this is actually happening when both of them had literally thought that this is never going to happen i'll never meet this person in fact one of them even said that i don't think we'll ever meet in person this is never going to happen if this happens i'm going to hold you tight and never let you go i'll like probably kidnap you or something you know 
jokingly that that person says it but i don't think you'll ever meet me in person this is not happening and the other person is like you know what i promise i'll meet you in person i promise that but that promise takes so long to fulfill that you know both of them lose hope on it and both of them sort of forget about it and that's when it happens you know when both of them are like it's okay if it's not meant to be then i'm not going to go crazy for it and then one fine day all of those problems go away and suddenly they are like we can do it we can do it we can really do it you know and we should not let go we should let go of all the fears and they're smart enough to understand because they've gone through their share of heartbreaks and toxic relationships they know that you know this person is sort of serious for me otherwise they won't have taken so much time if they wanted to have a fling they just wanted to have fun with me then they could have met me any time like it was not a big deal they could have come to my house or i could have gone to their house but they when they get such opportunities also like when they're talking to each other one of them has a like open house or empty house cuz you know sometimes it happens the parents are gone or there is nobody they're sharing a house with a friend the friend is gone or the girl is all by herself or the guy so whatever they have those opportunities and they talk about it and then they also discuss that let's not make it sexual because if we make it sexual then we're going to lose the love we feel for each other and we they both didn't want to do it they both did not want to uh, engage themselves into something which would you know make them feel that we've polluted our love so that is the amount of love they have for each other they want to save it for some other time and they surely want to save it after or afterwards you know that's what they say little do they understand or little do they know what's going to what's going to be coming on them later on so anyway they meet each other it's a very surreal meeting it's a very beautiful meeting when they meet each other they don't remember how they got there all this all these months and years of waiting all these inhibitions all these fears they just admire each other a lot and they have some very nice moments you know like looking into each other's eyes cracking at cracking up with each other on their jokes and uh, just you know staring at each other very secretly while one is eating food or the other is you know talking to someone on the phone they're just checking each other out and they are happy with the result they are not complaining at all both of them are like okay although i knew how this person would be in real life I had a very like proper figure idea whatever but it is so profound to see them in front of me being so like weird at the same time like is it even real is this real love really is it is this real is this true love am i in love or am i just attracted to this person both of them are thinking am i just physically attracting to, attracted to this person is it ever going to work with all the differences that we have it looks very hard but maybe it might and it might not so they are thinking all these things in their head and uh, one more thing that is there is that they they had certain moments before meeting each other like they would like each other smile like one of them was is very fascinated by the skin color or the smile or maybe singing maybe dancing maybe the way they the way they giggle their hair or the way the way they touch themselves like constantly like on their head or on their cheeks you know there are, there are certain gestures that they had already at least one person i would say had closely checked into their mannerisms and simple things like how this person smiles or how this person blinks their eye or how they you know like do something to their nose or uh, basic things you know like how child like they are or how mature they are i'm not saying that these are the fixed things but they are they have been admiring those things for such a long time on the video calls or maybe they would send pictures to each other maybe one is traveling so other is <clears throat> like where are you and they like i'm here okay send me the pictures and they so they notice they have noticed some things about them and now to see it happen in real life in action 
is just another experience for them because this feeling they have for each other it's a very strong feeling this is like you really like someone you really have to love someone for that or somebody has to literally match into your uh, idea of an ideal person looks wise talking wise behavior wise you know just they are like perfect for you they could be out of your league you might think they could be too beautiful for you or too handsome for you but there are too many differences also despite all the differences and and i think these differences also make them very attractive for each other like the the man is like okay i like her because of the differences a woman is like i love him because of the differences because these are the perfect differences you know it likes it makes a person in a in a territory where you should not enter like no trespassing no entering and that's why it becomes more adventurous to do it you know something like that so if your family has told you that you cannot marry a person from this community or this caste or this religion you know or you can't marry someone who's 7 years younger to you or 10 years elder to you or 15 years elder to you but they are you know and you go like i i definitely like this person more because you know they have this this difference which i was told or i saw or maybe they saw it in their own family when they were children they saw some differences would never work out because children also tend to listen to all adult conversations or they get to see what's happening in media so they they think that this will never work out but now that it's it's like in their own person they forgotten about all that all right so on this note i'll close this channeling session thank you so much for being here with me one love and peace out